it is really remarkable to think that something as simple as a paper is something that has shaped the thoughts and revolutions throughout the face of the earth. Paper was discovered by China and for centuries they kept the art of paper making a secret and only a few people of a chosen family knew this art and it was prohibited under the law of the king to reveal the secret of paper making. Back then paper wasn't anything much better than a tool of decoration. Can you imagine today a secondary purpose of the paper is decoration because paperwork decorations don't last at all. The primary function of paper is we cannot think of anything but writing and printing. In the year 751 CE happened a battle considered a very insignificant battle in terms of its results the battle of Tal As between the Muslim army and the Chinese forces. This battle took place. As a result of this battle, Muslims won a very small and insignificant area of present times Kyrgyzstan and we had a handful of prisoners. The Muslim general came to know that among the war prisoners are two people who are from the secret guild of China who knew the art of paper making. And subhanallah may Allah bless that general. He absolutely realized what treasure has come in the hands of this ummah. He immediately sent these two prisoners to the Khalifa and may Allah bless the Sultan of that era who realized that knowledge is much 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 more precious than money. The Khalifa, the Sultan said that instead of ransom money you just teach us the art of paper making and you will be set free. And this is how the secret of paper leaked out of China and entered into Arabia. This was the year 751 CE and just two years down the timeline, Sultan al-Mansur, the Khalifa, he decreed that now the entire government records be documented on paper. Wait a second, before we carry on, we need to understand uh, what materials did the Arabs used to write on before the introduction of paper into Arabia. Primarily, it was papyrus or date palm leaves. These were the stuffs that were easier to be carried. Other than these, there were other bulky materials like the bones or wood, but these could only be kept at home and not even home but kept in some government quarters. As far as papyrus and date palm leaves are concerned, these were the materials that scholars have and the government has, obviously. But the art of writing could not enter inside the homes, inside individual homes. Primarily it did not. And what does this signify? Illiteracy, right? The lack of education. And this illiteracy, this lack of education was present in, the, in every part of the world in that era. But after the paper was officially introduced into heavy work of the documentation of the government records, it led to the need of establishment of a paper factory. You know, a paper making plant. And thus in 770 CE, for the first time in history, a paper making plant was established outside of China. First in Samarkand and then in Baghdad. And now, when factories are producing paper, it's gonna sell it in the market. The government will buy it and the people will buy it. The common folks will buy it. This led to a massive boost in the literacy and education of Arab. Yes. When there is paper, there is education. And when there is education, there is what? A revolution of thoughts. The, the intellectual ideas start spreading. The ancient Greek books started to be translated into Arabic. There was so much of the scientific discoveries in this era. People who write books claiming that Muslims have given nothing to the world but terrorism, well, they fail to realize that the same paper on which they are writing that Muslims didn't give them anything was given to them by the Muslims. What a blatant lie it is that Muslims have given this world nothing. Now, when paper were compiled together, the stage 2 of this paper revolution took place. You see, beforehand there was those parchments and papyrus and date palm leaves, they were all handmade. And now the papers are coming from the factories. What difference do you think will be there between the two? 
obviously paper will be more finished and thus all papers were rectangular same shape and equally sized now the papers can be arranged into pile of each page of equal sizes now this sparks the idea of binding up the papers from one side and then writing the name of the topic of the compilation of the papers on the top page thus the first book in history was compiled in its modern form and slowly muslims started making the cover pages thicker to protect the book and then books were kept together one upon another so the idea of writing the name of the book at the side so that each book can be recognized even when it's piled up came and finally muslims were good at calligraphy so we started writing the name of the books beautifully calligraphed at the cover pages along with a lot of decorations and even today you will find the arabic quran beautifully calligraphed and decorated at its cover page now when the idea of book came forth the first time in history a book comes into the market and it's the fastest selling product in the market there are reports literally there are reports in history of people not even knowing the book not even knowing the name of the book but bidding money lots of money for it yes this was uh, there was a craze for buying books in arabia back then and thus many libraries appear inside every home and even today many muslim lands have this culture of keeping a bookcase as a decorative piece on these bookcases and on these bookcases they will only keep the islamic books yes it's a culture whose roots are attached directly to the time when books were discovered first time imagine the complete notion of the modern book came forward because of this ummah and it was not just one muslim the muslims as a community passed on this knowledge to you the complete idea of books the complete idea of education and the revolution of making education enter inside the homes the idea of schooling is based on what books Education is one of the many fields of modern society which is unknown to the world that it is a gift from the Muslims to the world. Yes, Europe would have never discovered the idea of education if Middle East, what you think this backward culture, if this backward culture didn't act as a chain between Europe and China in the paper history, then education would have never entered Europe. Now some people also claim that even if this muslim conquest of paper didn't happen we would still eventually discover this art you know there are so many thousands of years had passed by in thousand years we would have discovered the paper no no i'm sorry i beg to disagree china kept it a secret and they managed this for thousand years they didn't plan to engineer it forward themselves nor plan to share it without paper the world would have been left with the papyrus The best product for writing back then was papyrus. And you know, the problem with papyrus is it rolls up. It doesn't pile up. It rolls up. So basically there are papyrus scrolls. There can never be papyrus books because pages of papyrus do not pile up over one another. They directly roll up. So it occupies a lot of space and less area to write on comparatively. So the idea of libraries which too was actually initiated by the Muslims couldn't happen with papyrus without libraries and without books entering individual homes education could never have flourished yes and this so called modern society would have been much more backward than these same middle eastern whom you claim to be backward even after knowing what they gave you